With Karen Ferguson days, moments after a 4-0 win here on a doubleheader night, you started the evening off with a bang, didn't you, Coach? We did. Um, it's always nice to score four goals for sure, and for Gabby Vincent to get a hat trick. I mean, when does your center back ever get a hat trick? So, fabulous night for her. Um, you know, I thought we were almost too committed to possessing the ball today when the space was actually in behind their backs, and I think that's why it was only 1-0 in the first half. We were, um, trying to play in front of them when really all the space was behind them. If we would have been more understanding of that, I think it, um, we could have gotten on the board a little bit more often in the first half. Statistically on this thing, you look at the stats and you're thinking this should be a 10-0 game. You had a 32-0 shot advantage. Uh, once again, the defense just seals the door and keeps everybody out, don't they? Absolutely, yeah. And 32 shots that we've had, and I'll, I'll be honest, their goalkeeper was fabulous. Yeah. She was absolutely fabulous. So she had two, three, maybe even four really big-time saves, and then I think one of their kids' save went off the goal line. So, um, again, we're knocking on the door. We've got a lot more attacking personality this year than we've ever had, so it's nice to get four goals and even nicer to get the show out. Allison Woodfield holding her knee at the end of the first half. Is she going to be okay? Yeah, that? she's okay. She just got a little bruised. Maybe she's banged up, but she came back on and had an assist, so I think she'll forget about her knee. Gabby with the three goals. When is the last time you remember one player of global women's soccer getting three in a game? Yeah, you know, the first player that comes to mind might have been Jamie Kraft, but I'm not even sure she actually ever did it. I'd have to for sure check on that, but uh, I think more interesting is that she's our center back and yeah. she had a hat trick. So. I would have okay. gone with Charlotte Corral there, but I guess oh, we'd yeah, have to take true. a look at the that's books true. on that. Right, right, right. Last year, one to nothing. You beat them this year, four to nothing. An indication of how good this team might be this year? Absolutely. I mean, I've said that all along. I like 15 new kids, 11 true freshmen. I like the way we've come together. I like the addition of the attacking personality. So um, it's nice to have depth, and I think we've got that. Takeaways for this one is you prepare for Toledo on Sunday? Yeah, I think the ball speed has to be better. We have to read what's on. You know, we can't be so committed to doing what we want to do. We have to read what the opponent's giving us. Um, I, again, I love that we're trying to possess the ball, but the space was behind the backs, and I think we've got to be able to get that ball in behind the back. Congratulations on a great win this evening.